Here's our tail of the tape. Kelvin Tiller with a three-inch leg reach advantage. Isaiah, the taller man. Both of them came in at or near the heavyweight max limit. 266 for Tiller. 520-something pounds inside the cage. Inside the cage is Lillian Garcia. She'll get us started with the heavyweights. Fight fans, it's time for the quarterfinals in the heavyweight division. And we bring you another showdown between Russia and USA. This is brought to you by Cage Muscle. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler, standing at 6'3", weighing in officially 264 pounds. At 6-0, he is the only undefeated fighter in the heavyweight division and was a 2008 Olympian. He is the number five seed, fighting out of Dagestan, Russia. Here is Ali Isayev. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is a boxer, standing at six feet tall, weighing officially 266 pounds. In 14 professional battles, he has a record of 11 victories and three defeats. He is the number four seed, fighting out of Topeka, Kansas, and representing the United States of America. Here is the Mon Boy, Kelvin Tiller. Your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Mark Smith will control the action here in our first heavyweight quarterfinal of the evening. Kelvin Tiller, the mama's boy in the blue trunks. Ali, Ali Isayev, undefeated in the silver. Let's get our biggest referee in there to control these big boys. Tiller had to cut weight to make the heavyweight limit. Isayev pushing it at 264 pounds, and it's actually Tiller who initiates a grappling exchanger. Looking for the takedown against the Olympic wrestler. He's trying to set a precedent, establish himself as a threat to the man who's supposed to be the better wrestler in this one. Isayev now drops down to a single leg here and picks up and sets down Kelvin Tiller, who's hanging on the head. We see the submission skills of the Topeka, Kansas native. It's very hard to hit that guillotine on a lot of the Russian fighters. I believe it has something to do with the combat sambo experience and so much wrestling, all the wrestling that those guys do. Tiller now on his back, open guard here, Isaiah punching away at the body. Tiller's chasing a Kimura, looking for that Kimura on Isaiah's left arm, I'm sorry, right arm. Posting on his left elbow, Kelvin Tiller trying to find a little bit of space, perhaps to grab a sweep or wiggle out from underneath. Ali Isayev, who has smothered his way to a couple of victories already here in the regular season. Now Kelvin's decided, he, by closing his guard, he's deciding to work from the bottom. He's not going to be able to stand up in that close guard position, especially against a tough wrestler like Isayev. But Isayev's got to get his head up to do some damage, throw some big punches. The veteran move there from Ali Isayev, who's only six fights deep into his mixed martial arts career, placing the hand over the nose and mouth of Kelvin Tiller, just making it obnoxious, uh, difficult to breathe. Now what I would like to see Kelvin Tiller do right now is push on Isayev's head in that direction so he can pull his right leg out. He wants to get that between them. And if he can put that leg between them and push on that head, he can start working to get to his feet. And with his feet in the air like that, he's not going to stand up, and this is not the position he wants to be in. Dominant wrestling position here for Ali Isayev, putting Tiller's left leg up on a shelf, so to speak. Impossible to create leverage that way for the man on the bottom. Tiller ain't going to kick away, but does not take advantage of it. Big left hand comes down from the top for Isayev. Tiller's got to get on his hip, get to one side, pick a side and try to escape on that side. He can't stay flat on his back like this. Worth noting that we've had all of our playoff events here in Las Vegas, and the judges in Las Vegas have been desperate to see finishes. They've been rewarding fighters who are working to finish, not just be in these control positions. That's something Ali Isayev talked about in the fighter meetings. 
You saw Dennis Goldsoff slide in there in the bottom right hand corner. He will face the winner of this bout. Mama's Boy wants to move on to the semifinals just to have that rematch with Goldsoff who beat him in the regular season. And you saw Goldsoff was just kind of warming up, pacing back and forth, not paying attention to the camera. I always wonder at this level, you did it last season. What's it like when you're back there? Is it better to fight first and then look for your opponent or be warming up and see the guy that you potentially face next should you win your bout? Well, you run the danger of losing focus on the task at hand. Remember, there is no second fight if you don't win the first one. It's fight twice, but only if you win the first one. Fight twice, win twice requires uh, a victory in your quarterfinal bout. And right now, it's Ali Isayev controlling this quarterfinal against the Mountain Boy Kelvin Tiller, who went down on his back early and hasn't been able to improve position much either. No, he has not. He's got to work to get to his feet, and this is his best opportunity to do so. I would like to see Tiller get his, use his shoulder walk, but look at what I, Ali Isayev did. He climbed above Tiller's legs, and with him being above Tiller's knee, on Tiller's right leg, it's going to be so hard for Tiller to get his hips out from underneath Ali Isayev in this position. 45 seconds remaining here in the first of two quarterfinal rounds. Big heavy wrestler grinding on top of you, just working and working and working, keeping position and landing short shots. Interesting to see the strategy here for a guy like Isayev, who's wrestled as many as five times in one day in tournaments before. He feels like he's well equipped for this multiple fights in one night format. Especially with this dominating style of wrestling. Tiller just hanging on now, absorbing a few light punches on the body. 10 seconds remain here in round number one. All Isayev so far. Round one comes to a close, and that's been the story. Round two next. Eve, sometimes when you initiate a grappling Time. experience with a wrestler who's been in the Olympics, this is what happens. Yeah, we saw Kelvin Tiller in this position last year with Go with Go with Roshaw. He looked for that guillotine, but he got slammed because of it. And look at this, big left hand from the top. Ali Isayev keeping right, so those legs well. elevated so Tiller can't pull them out and get back to his feet. Landed punches from the top. Well, as I mentioned, it was the Mamba's boy who initiated the contact in the first round. Does he need to do the opposite here in the second? Yes, he does need to stay on the outside and throw bombs. He needs to throw punches. We know he has the power to knock anybody out, but this right here is not what he wants to do against such a seasoned wrestler. And you saw him being aggressive with those strikes. Looks like maybe he was making Isaiah uncomfortable, and once again now, dumps down to the back. And Kelvin Tiller finds himself with four minutes and 30 seconds to make something different happen. Yeah, he's got to get back to his feet this round. We saw Isayev just ride the top position, not do a whole lot, but do enough that the referee wouldn't stand it up. He's landing the punches. He's in the control position. He's winning this fight. Tiller takes four punches in a row on the side of his face there. Loses the underhook. All Isayev on top. Four minutes remain here in this quarterfinal heavyweight bout. Again, Kelvin Tiller's got to get that left knee between him and Isayev and continue to turn. He looked, looked like he was doing the right thing as he was turning to, to his right side. But he's got to get that left leg on the inside also. The winner of this fight could potentially face our number one seed, Dennis Goldsov. He is yet to expend any energy if that shot is any indication. But these guys are going deep into this bout. And Isayev working with his left hand, pounding away, hammering away at the mama's boy who's lost his mouthpiece. Goldsov is not even spending the energy it takes to look up at the screen for this one. So reset there, reload the mouthpiece for Kelvin the Mama's Boy Tiller. There's Satoshi Ishii, the Olympic Judo gold medalist. Now training with Team Pro Cop. We talk about work rate, we talk about keeping guys on the bottom here. If you look at those uh, Cajunomics numbers, we're approaching 100 ground strikes landed for Ali Isaiah. Yeah, he's. he's he has a lot of output going on. We don't see any urgency in Kelvin Tiller in working to get back to his feet. I don't know if that's because Isayev is shutting down all of his hip, hip movement and all of his positioning, 
but he's got to explode. He has to give us more action trying to get back to his feet in this position. So you get into these middle ground situations where you've got to decide whether you want to block these little hammer fists or you want to dive with that underhook and try and advance your position. I've always erred on the side of advancing positions so you don't have to block. I would agree with that one, Sean. You know, you and I, we think a lot alike because Otherwise, you're just taking punishment. And, and as a fighter, you don't want to be on bottom taking punches. Right here, Tiller is in a, in a good position to work a technique that I like to use. Taking his, Tiller should take his right arm and grab Isayev's right arm. And at the same time, bring his right shin across Isayev's, Isayev's belt line. And that's going to keep Isayev away from him, make it hard for him to punch. But it's going to afford Tiller an opportunity to get back to his feet. He's easier. not going to be able to do it from there. Easier said than done against a guy like Ali Isayev, so far undefeated in his mixed martial arts career with wrestling credentials very seldom seen in the world of mixed martial arts. He keeps up this action for another 90 seconds. He's going to stay undefeated and move on to the semifinals. Tiller's mother always talks about the fact that she doesn't like to see her son in grappling exchanges. This could not be the kind of fight she wants to watch. Now, Mama says one thing when it comes to Kelvin Tiller fighting, and that's knock him out. It might be nitpicking for someone who's had such a dominant performance so far, Eve, but what more do you need to see from Ali Isayev? Those, those little hammer fists to the, the kidney or the, the side of a guy like Kelvin Tiller might be scoring for the judges, but they're not going to finish a fight. They're not going to finish a fight, but it looks like he has the, he has this fight in cruise control right now. He's just pressing the action, staying in top position, landing the shots that he's going to going to accumulate points with, and not putting a lot of energy out because if he should he win this one, as it looks like he's doing, he'll be back out here again. He doesn't want to spend a bunch of energy. Virtually no answer from the mama's boy here in this heavyweight quarterfinal. Ali Isayev 20 seconds away from grabbing a spot in the heavyweight semifinal against either Satoshi Ishii or Dennis Goldsoff, who you will see later tonight. Tiller just showed no urgency from the bottom. No, no need to try to get up. Now he's looking for a Kimura and it's too late. So Ali Isayev rides it out for two rounds. And unless we get a freakish decision, he will advance to the quarter from this quarterfinals to a heavyweight semi. One step closer to a million dollars. You see Magomed on this corner. Look at that, Eve. Nearly 200 strikes landed for Ali Isayev. But perhaps the more important stat is those two takedowns on our Cajunomics. Because in the first round, one takedown kept the Mamba's boy on his back for the entirety of the round. And the same was true in the second round. And both those takedowns were actually initiated by Kelvin Tiller. Tiller shoots in, but right here, Tiller looks like guillotine. Ali Isayev saw him do that last year to rope shot. So what does he do? Lift that leg, plant him flat on his back, and works in the top position here. And then an outside trip, just pulls Kelvin Tiller to his butt, puts him on his back, and Ali Isayev is just able to stay on top, land short shots, short chopping shots, and just accumulating. What was that? 244 offensive shots from the top. Just cruise control, just riding the clock, beating him up, the mouthpiece pops out. That just shows that he's dominant in his positioning, and, and Kelvin Villa had no way of getting out from underneath the big man on top. The mama's boy, unhappy with his performance as we await a decision. The, the vexing thing here, Eve, is after the first round, when you go chest to chest with an Olympic wrestler, you don't make the adjustment in the second round. Kelvin Tiller once again grabbed a hold of Ali Isayev. We usually see the mama's boy fight smarter than that. Right, and, and the guy who wins the fight is usually the guy who's able to make an adjustment, especially when one thing is going a certain way at the beginning of the fight. But Tiller did exactly what he did in the first round. He initiated a takedown against a better wrestler, and he ended up on bottom for it with no answer. That's not how you do it in the BFL playoffs. Seven trips inside the cage for Ali Isayev. We'll see what the decision is here, but it looks like maybe seven wins in a row. Lillian Garcia, what do you got? 
Ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And the totals are 2016, 2017, and 2017. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And advancing to the heavyweight semifinals, Ali Strong performance for Ali Isaya. You heard there on the judges' scorecards, multiple 10-8 rounds. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you want to do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.